Hi, it's Hazel, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to day 77 of the 100 Day Project. Now, I will admit that I am doing this video on the heels of the last one. So, some of the stuff you see, you'll have seen just moments ago. This is different in that, I mean, it's related to the whole junk journal world, genre, lifestyle. <laughs> I think it is a lifestyle. Anyway, I, <laughs> I, I watched a video last night. Um, Tina, Shabby Dabby Doodle. I thought it was such a clever title. She called it the X-Piles <laughs> and was brave enough to show a shot of her desk. And, uh, you know, <laughs> according to her, and I'll have to agree, it was kind of devastation. But again, we are, we're not to compare ourselves to to anyone else for better or worse. So I won't say if my desk looks better or worse than that. But I think we can all um, agree that we probably do have work surfaces that look totally out of control. Not look, are totally out of control at some point or other. So I wanted this to be a bit of a sort of a sorting organizational um, reality check um, you know sort of are you are you brave enough to see the truth of how this really looks in the real world uh, kind of video so let me begin during um, a recent thrifting video I was able to get four of these sorts of trays, plastic trays, uh, for two bucks. So 50 cents each. Now they are, they don't hold a, a full piece of paper, so that's fine. They're clear, which is a good thing. And basically I added a tag, page edging. So this was the, the place where I was collecting those sorts of things that I needed for yesterday's video. So this was thrown in there. Whoops. I pulled out some some uh, fabric ruffles. So that was in there. Um, these were some more of those book page board. Whoa, there's my, <laughs> my paper calendar. Um, those, um, I said these came from calendars. So I'm thinking if I have to clean my surface to get on to the next thing, why don't I show you kind of what that involves? Oh, this was part of that thing that I said didn't work as a bookmark idea. So, you know, at some point I'll take this apart. I, I'm trying to get to the point where I, where I handle these things a lot less. So I have more of these that you saw me use on a um, on one of the pa on one of the page edges yesterday. So I'm going to throw that back in this because even though the video is done, I still have pages to edge at some point. So because that basket uh, is kind of a bit smaller and more manageable in size, that seems like a good place to keep them. Now, I don't know if that if that is genius on my part or if that's just a um, uh, a um, delusional thinking because my issue, this is confession time. My issue, I think, is that I have too many organizational, um, or storage options. So I love decorative boxes, baskets. Um, I've got some jars. I've got vases. I've got, you know, utilitarian plastic, which is not attractive, but it's see-through. So I have all of these things. And what I haven't talked to you about yet is this is a fabric covered box that I've had for ages. And so every so often when I'm when I'm you know cleaning the, the desk surface, 
I'll gather up everything, slap a paper clip on it, and think that I've <laughs> that I've accomplished something. But the reality is that if you have enough of these boxes and um, file boxes and and decorative boxes and plastic bags and all of that, all you've got is we little islands of semi-organized stuff but you've got millions of islands so what i'm hoping to do just as a, an exercise I, mean, I have to do it so you might as well you might as well be forced to watch me do it um just to to hope that maybe if there are some better ideas out there that someone will share them in the comments or whatever i know that that you guys have been pretty good at pointing out to me some things that I didn't know and I'm grateful for that by the way this is one of those fabric ruffles that you just sew a really long using a really long stitch you just sew sort of a basting stitch down a strip of fabric and then just gather it up and you can make this as tight or as loose as you want so Anyway, what I'm going to start doing, and you may not be able to see everything at all times, but that's okay. If I say I'm making a, pay, a pile of ruffles over here, and you can't see it, that's okay. You can trust me that I'm making a pile of ruffles over here. Um, okay, so another thing that I used yesterday, in yesterday's video, is this packaging that came from those satin pillowcases. So I have this. Now, what am I going to do with this? I want to use it, obviously. So for now, I'm going to make another little pile with, with sort of narrow strips, because I've got this, and I've got this. Now, I think I'm going to be bold and throw that away. So there. Um, I have, now I have a drawer behind me in my wall-to-wall -wall closet that has narrow strips. So I think I will put this in there. That's cardstock. But for now, let's put that there. So let's see what other goodies there might be in here. So this is obviously something where I was making a snippet roll with little bits of that mostly looks like wallpaper to me. Not wallpaper, gift wrap. It looks like it's on... what is that some sort of a roll of tape perhaps it almost looks like that medical tape but it would be sticky anyway so this I would say could go into the edging box because or bin that I just showed you because that's likely where that would end up okay so Obviously, I took apart one of those uh, Walter Foster, or maybe several little Walter Foster books, and these things are so darn cute. But maybe these two, because I did mention it in the video, but I didn't show an example, was using these kinds of things as page edging. So maybe that's what I need to do. I'll keep the clip on them. Although maybe I don't need such a heavy duty clip. I'll keep the clip on, I'll put a clip on them and I'll keep them together and I'll throw them in the edging box thinking that, yeah, these are sort of, mind you, they could also be belly bands because they, they are kind of cardboardy. But I'll put them for now, I'll put them in there with the intention of, of doing, using that as, uh, again. Here's something else I clipped together. Now, what do these things have in common? Who knows? So these are, what are they? Are those album covers? Yeah, it looks like it. So these... 
These are cover, these are photos of different people's uh, music album covers. So, like the, the previous item, these could and should probably be in there. Because they too could be decorating the sides of pages. So, in it goes. Okay, what is this? This is a sticker. So, I have a place for things like this. So, let me start a new pile for that because my, there might be others. Now, these are, I have, I bought a bunch of these coat checks. So, but again, if unless I keep the whole, you know, 400 here in front of me, I forget to use them, so that's why I sometimes put, you know, small quantities of something in a box like this, thinking, okay, sorry, work out of this box. Um, but have I? No, I haven't. So maybe it's time to try something different. So I will start a pile for this for the time being. Who knows? There may not be anything else to add to it, but... Now these are things that I cut off, uh, I think some notepads that you get from card companies or charities or whatever. And I should have pulled out a bunch, let me pull out a bunch of paper clips because for a small, I'm oh, sorry, did I shake you guys? And I do it again as I ask you that. Oh, sorry. Okay, so for now, I'm going to clip these together to see if there will be more of this sort of thing. But again, it's similar to the grad photos I mentioned or those album covers. This could also be a page decoration or the top of a... Um, uh, you know, a little pad of scrap paper. So we'll see if that happens. Okay, there's a word. Why is that not with my words? Here are some little paper, that's not it, uh, paper ruffles. So let's start a little pile for that. This is a fussy cut rooster. This is a digital. Now I know I have more of these uh, embroidery, uh, labels not sure what this is and why would I keep such a tiny little thing let's call this a base we'll make a pile now this is something that I've clearly backed but I wouldn't want the name of the press but maybe I left it there to cover this part with some lace or some ribbon. So I will make another pile of things that just need kind of one thing to finish them. Oh, this is part of a painting of mine that I cut up. So this is watercolor scraps. So let's start a pile for those. strip of paper. Again, probably have millions of those. So why would I want how how long should a per how long should would a normal person keep these things? Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay, I'm just making sort of um interim piles for things knowing that um I can combine them or throw them out at the end. So these are journaling cards that came obviously out of some sort of a kit or a paper pad or whatever. Maybe they were, had to be punched out. I don't know. I This would have been obviously a thrifted find. So rather than have these things sitting around getting... Uh, maybe damaged. 
why don't I, I do have my dresser with those eight drawers. I could put these in um, as ready to go. Because really, they, they, they are ready to go. They're, they're at, totally adequate, even if I don't add another thing to them. So we'll have, we have a little pile of that. This is a digital. This is lovely. Now, so I have another digital here. We'll just put that together for the time being. Oh, and this was my needs, needs one, one more thing. Uh, this is, I guess, the base of a car, of, um, a base of a, you know, for a journaling card or something, but it's crooked. So why don't I trim it and know that it's ready to go? You'd think it would be easy to trim something that has stripes, but that only works if it was glued down straight. Okay, so this goes on the pile of needs more. Now, at a point like this, if I had several of these, I would probably do use the corner rounder on them. Or I would gather them up and I would say, okay, they need to be sewn around. But for now, we don't have enough to make a sewing pile. Um, this is a lovely, oh, I see. This was something lovely that I glued onto a piece of packaging. So this needs to be completed. So I'll add to the same pile that the, that, that other thing just came from. Okay, far out isn't far enough. This too is a base that needs completion. Add it to that pile. These are, oh, I see. I printed a bunch. These are my digitals. So I printed a bunch of these on, or did I back them? No, I guess on heavier paper. So it's a matter of, you know, maybe trimming them up to unify them or decorating as is. So let's call this needs another step. And let's call, let's start another pile called collage fodder. These are little um, uh, botanical things. These I took out of a, I ripped them out of a What Color Is Your Parachute book. I used to love that book. And you know, of course, that, I think his name is Richard Bowles. He prints, well, or used to print it every year. I don't know if he still does. So there are these black and white uh, images. Now this happens to be on pinkish, a light pink paper. So maybe um, what I can do is throw out these, just these pink strips. Unless I was, was I saving them for the numbers? Good grief. So I'm going to add this stuff to the collage fodder pile. And there are enough here that this could probably do a master, I mean, it could easily be part of a master board uh, because there are so many of them and, and they would unify it. So maybe until I do that master board, I'll hang on to these. You see, that way insanity. Um, this is lovely. That better be collage fodder. Collage fodder. Now, okay, I see these. I was wondering, why am I keeping these things? But they're actually quotations. 
So I've got the word cuddly. I'm going to move over here and create a pile for quotations. And then they will go into the right spot. So more of those. It seemed like this, so another quote or sentiment. More of that. This is another paper ruffle, so we'll, or not ruffle, but you know, sewing on paper. This is part of a digit, I'll put say collage fodder. This is some piano roll paper, collage fodder. Um, let's see if there are enough of these to warrant a pile. This could be reaching for my corner rounder, reaching for my little garbage. Quickly do this, throw it in the completed pile. And elsewhere in the room, I have what I call my filing things that need to be put away. Okay, so here's another digital, another digital. This is part of, but again, essentially, well, let's call it a digital. It's not quite a digital, but it, it we could pretend it is. Fussy cut leaf. Well, oh, I'll put it with my rooster. Um, celebrate. Let's put this with the words. Well, that's actually not, oh, the word success. Um, digital, digital, die cut, but it's a word. We'll put it with the words. This is, okay, we'll call this magazine or book imagery. <clears throat> paper, piano paper. So here are these little, oh, I've stapled some together. Okay, so why don't we, I said these could be the toppers for um, maybe I'll just fold this in half because if I just use one, then it looks like I don't want to cover you know, the first, no, I don't want to cover half of that first sheet. So I will glue this on higher up and it will help keep, um, it'll keep it all together, but it will also, um, what am I trying to say here? I don't know. I don't know. I'll just put some Fabri-Tac glue here and here. So we cover the staple. We sort of decorate this. It's almost like adding a tab to it or something. I guess I need a smidge more. Smidge more glue under here. Looky there, one thing done. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, maybe we can do more of that. So with this,
I probably need the big guns. I'll let that fabric tack flow down. And this was back stitched, so maybe. Well, let's put this on a bigger one and then I don't have to trim anything. Okay, I'll put that on that. And um, when the glue is flowing, I'll fold this one in half. You probably can't see that, but you understand what folding in half means. Add this like a topper here. Trim the sides if I want to after it's glued down. Then I need something for this one. Hmm. This is probably too narrow. But it could work. I'll, I could have it up the word up above the word notes. Okay, so we have those ready for gluing. There's this, but I don't know, maybe this is fine as it is, and I'll call that one done. I'll go back to it if I find something absolutely, unbelievably good. Maybe I should put it on here instead. I don't know, can you see what I'm doing? So I'm covering the staple, I'm offsetting it a bit. It looks like a tab. It doesn't cover the word notes. Boy, that's kind of a poor little. Just trying to bend those down. And we call it done. Um, I'll use fabric tack on this one. Snip some of this. Well, I could use the green side too, I suppose. Which do I like better? Maybe this side. The only reason I'm using Fabri-Tac is that it's, you know, this is a little bit heavier duty paper. It's got stitching, it's going over staples, so it's a little lumpy bumpy. And we call it done. Um, I don't know if I'll need this again. I'll just set it aside. And for this one, I will use our glitter glue. If it comes out, I'll use our glitter glue. And you know, um, I don't... This kind of playing catch-up and clean-up, I don't know that it... Um, I, I mean, there is a certain satisfaction that comes with doing it. I don't know that there's a great deal to point to at the end of the thing and say, oh, yeah, look at what I did, baby. Um, but it it does, I think, or at least in my case, it feels like, okay, you've dealt with it. You don't have to handle that again. Now this was obviously folded around something. Oh, was this waiting for this? Probably. Looks pretty well perfect. And look, I even stamped matching. Is it kind of too dark in here? Let me turn on some, let me put some light on this object. Hopefully it doesn't make shadows. It 
Um, yeah, I think that will be fine. And if I want to trim that later, I can. So, oh, I should use this while the glue maybe is in the vicinity of the... I'm just going to... I think if I can get it in there around those corners. And you see when I don't do that over my little garbage can, little garbage basket, you end up with these little specks of paper everywhere. a little further down on. No, I guess I should be closer to where the... So that's cute. We can call that one done as well. Okay, what else is in here? How long have we been at this? Ooh, half an hour. Um... Maybe I'll try to speed things up. Okay, this is a fussy cut. I'll put him with the, the rooster and the leaf. This is one of those Wally type stickers. Let's call that a fussy cut. Oh, this is some lovely paper. Let's call that collage fodder. Collage fodder. Magazine image. This, I think, is wallpaper, but we'll call it collage fodder. Magazine, magazine, collage fodder. Call that collage fodder. This is a match to that other little thing I put over there. Um, this is heavier, whoops, heavier weight. This could be an edge strip. I'll throw it in there. These are some, let's call that collage fodder. Got this little, oh, these are like, um, well, I wouldn't hold my breath that that would actually stick, but they're like flags. More collage fodder, another magazine image. Collage fodder, this is so cute. Um, cardboard, where did I put cardboard? I've got a little pile for cardboard or backing stuff. Those colors don't match. I don't know. I dare say that I have touched this particular paper and its mates a um, hundred times. Here's another one of these guys. Whoa, that just uh, needs a decoration of some sort. I'm going to do all the corners because I kind of prefer corners done, rounded. <gasps> Sorry. Really isn't any green in that. But wouldn't it be nice if I could call this done once and for all? See, I would I would probably not use that that way. I would try to fussy cut around there. Why don't I just quickly Again, where there's no way that this is going to be completed. I'm just going to and, and, the, and this is, guys, how I fussy cut. I selectively pick what to 
what to use and what to throw away because there's no way that I'm going to be cutting around little tendrils of hair or, uh, you know, little teeny tiny branches. I'm going to glue that on there and then trim the excess. How's that for decisive? And normally I would use a glue stick, but you know, the old line about, hey, I'm doing a video. Or I suppose it could be this way in a pocket. Oh, well, let's do it this way. Oh, I didn't exactly line that up very well, did I? You know, a person might want to add something else, but for now I'm adding it to the nearly done. <laughs> um... Okay, this I'm thinking I intended as a, what? A signature, probably. So I don't have a pile for that. Start another pile. What is this? We'll make this into a little signature. Now this, I'm telling you, this is, let me cover this up. This is a wrapper that was around a bundle of paper that was supposed to be very, you know, ecologically, whatever, whatever. So a lot of it was mangled, but I kept some of it. You know, is this part here any good? No, it isn't. So I'm... And I think I have used some of this. I'm adding it to the collage fodder pile. And if it does not get used this time, then bye-bye. Now I have another clip here with uh, items, no, not items, um, images out of a gardening book of some sort. So these, of course, you know, thing like this could be, uh, you know, backed and become, or maybe matted, so they'd have a, you know, a little splash of color behind them. I mean, this isn't it, obviously, but you can see that if there was some, a color, it would be a lot more eye-catching. So... Um, and then what about these little guys, these single ones? Oh, I see. They're like little, these are little baby signature pages. So let me put them with the signatures. Um... I'm going to make an executive decision here. Okay, these guys need backing for belly bands. Put them there. This I am going to... How wide are these? Eight and a half. So maybe I'm going to turn these into... See, that needs a repair there. Do I want to repair it with this? Let's repair it with that. What the heck? Let me use our glitter glue, then I don't have to fool around with the glue page. Eight 
if a person forces themselves to get on with it and make a decision and use only what is within reach, you know, I could have said, oh, okay, I'll put that aside and then one day I'll look through my wash and I'll do a repair that way. That might never happen. Looks like we need a patch on the other side. Is it time to... Is it time to use one of these guys? And again, not because this is a, a finished anything. I mean, it will be a signature page. But, can you see? It now has this color and this element, or these two elements added to it. So, does that take it a little closer to being used? Perhaps. And I'm going to do the same with these others. It's too bad that the, well, it is what it is. I, I was going, I was starting to say it's too bad that the word is kind of like on the back of the, full off the signature, but that's okay. And if these uh, pages end up being too long for wherever they end up, then they get folded or trimmed or whatever. So now I have, okay, they're four and a half wide, roughly. Got, you know, a few little signature pages here ready to go. I'll add them to, the, to that pile there. Um, okay, this. I've handled this half a dozen times also. Maybe I will, I'll just fold this under and fold this under. Actually, there's enough that I, if I, okay, let me just do that. I'm going to glue this shut and it can be like a journal card with a seam down the middle. <laughs> ha ha ha. You can write over it or around it. And it would have been good to put some glue in there as well. Or maybe this is now a mobile <laughs> a mobile uh, pocket. Probably the best bet, though, is to, um, I should trim the top of this, straighten it out. I mean, this paper is heavy enough that I don't need to reinforce it with anything. Like, I don't need to reinforce it with paper or... Um, I'll cut right below that text. If I can find my knife, yes, I can. Whoa, I don't need that much blade out. And automatically, it looks more like it's um. It looks like it's sort of done. Now it really looks like it's done. Person would probably just add a sentiment. Where are my sentiments? Well, we can't say cuddly because it's not cuddly. Do any of these other things make sense here? Not success. Uh, well, let the beauty of what you love be what.
what you do. Fill the earth. Okay, gratitude. That could be a good one there. So I'll get rid of these. Mm, grateful harvest. I don't know about that. Okay, so just cover this up a sec. And obviously, I don't think I'm going to... Well, I'm getting... I'm just tearing off the parts that don't... that detract from the quote. sacrifice that too. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is thundering here, which means that we're either getting rain, I can't exactly see, yeah, I think it's raining, which is what we have needed and wanted. Sometimes when there isn't hardly room, that's not good and good. Sometimes when there's hardly any room, to um, tear, I just reach for these sort of scissors and kind of chew away at it, you know, just nip it here and there so that it looks a little bit like it was torn, but it's not a, a regular uh, design. This is so white on white that I will see if I have some enough ink on this brush to, whoa, more than I intended, but okay, I guess we're going with it. Okay, I'm going to glue this down and I'll show you. that little number, try to center it. Again, there's there's a simplicity to this that I find appealing occasionally. In fact, maybe that's my default thing, simplicity. That's probably closer to my comfort level than over the top. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that really. Maybe let's do the corners a little more since there's so much white. And we're going to call this one done as well. Again, done for the moment. Okay, let's quickly get through this and then we can say we did. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Collage fodder. This should be collage fodder too. I've been handling this for a lot of... Um, this needs something to be to finish it. Um, collage fodder, card, or oh, I'm just holding this all together, I guess. These are some of those. You know what? I have more of this. Why don't I just? Why don't I just bite the bullet and throw this away? How's that? Maybe not this one because it's wider. So I'm going to leave that in there. Oh, this store has been closed now for a number of years. But I, and this was before I knew how to properly remove stuff, I took this off 
uh, cardboard box. So let's use it. Let's use it. Let's use it. Okay, what else is in here? Music paper. No, I don't know what I was doing. Okay, throw this out. Well, let's deal with this first. Now, this is, I don't know what this is, but it appears that I glued I or did someone else do it? I don't quite understand because if, if this is supposed to be a cover, then I would pick this as my cover. And that's fine. But it also means that this is upside down. And why why should it be upside down if it was two separate pieces glued on? I don't get that. Or was this supposed to be... What's going to happen if I try to bend it the other way? Let's just... Let's just ruin this right before your very eyes. Let's pretend this was scored the other way. Okay, it tore there too, but that's that can be hidden. Now, I don't know what this is. Something stuck to it. Good old elbow grease and this glue lifter thingamajig seems to be working okay now that oh not exactly centered is it so this would have to be scored again to line these edges up but that could be a cover this would be a center fold yes that's what i'm going to do after the video i will i'll find the center and i will score it and have the makers of a cover. So that's for after the video. These are, let's call these collage fodder. Here's another piece of that. Oh dear. Collage fodder. Some more sentiments that with the words more of these oh see that's this is a little magnet so I don't know I've never tried to see if you can get the paper off well it's not that thick it could probably be glued down so I'll put it with the words dog days with the words uh, this is something I obviously stamped. Oh, on some ledger. Cool. Collage fodder. A number. More of these. Collage fodder or garbage. Some more of that. Oh, more of these. So more collage fodder. Now these are from those um, foot and mouth painter catalogs or calendars, I mean. And they have lines. So why don't I just round the corner? Now the the this stuff on the side is upside down, but. Do we care? Probably not. Or a strip of something to decorate or cover that would be fine. So I think that's what I'll do. I will, um, after the video, I promise that I'll round the corners and I'll cover those. Not big enough. That adds a bit of bulk, but... Or are these quotes big enough? Oh, see, it would be good if I knew which. Oh, summer playground. Maybe that's the right one for that one.
guess if I can have these things sort of make sense, that quote covering it might be the answer there. Kill two birds with one stone. Now these are some calendar things that have these sort of muted. Now I can either put this, or do I want to cover that with that? I could do that also. I'll see. I'll either, between the quotes and this, I'll get those guys covered. Now, this is watercolor paper, and there are some spooky eyes there. Don't ask me what's going on there, but an eraser will make this a usable piece of watercolor scrap. the other watercolor paper I had here somewhere. Uh, some stickers. I could also use those. Well, that won't cover enough there. These are more pieces of paper, miscellaneous paper, to make more little notebooks. That could be another thing to do there. This needs a little vacuuming out. And believe it or not, it's empty. So I can make some note, little mini scrap notebooks with this, put some headers on them or a sticker. And what I will do, since I don't know how to attach a photo after a video, I will, the day this video appears, I will also take some photos off the finished things so you'll see that I didn't just move this back into here and then have it kicking around some more. Anyway I'm going to stop there because that took way longer than I thought it was going to and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks bye.